What is going on? It's Metacosis Perfectionatus, where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's continue our five minute review playlist. In the previous video, we talked about acute otitis media, which usually has purulent middle ear discharge. But today we're talking about a slightly different topic, which is otitis media with effusion, which usually has serous discharge in the middle ear. Could be serous, could be mucinous. We call this the glue ear. Tons of effusion. Quick review on the anatomy of the ear. Of course, you know that we have external ear, middle ear, and inner ear. The external ear has the ear pinna, external auditory meatus, and the tympanic membrane or the membrana tympanicum. After that, we have the middle ear, which has the famous three ossicles. Don't forget that the eustachian tube will communicate between the middle ear and the nasopharynx. That's why the most common cause of otitis media is spread of inflammation from the upper respiratory tract infection and into the middle ear through the eustachian tube. And after the middle ear, of course, we have the inner ear. Please pause and review. Types of otitis media include acute otitis media, otitis media with effusion, and chronic otitis media, which could be suppurative or non-suppurative. Suppuration means pus. What's the famous bacterial triad that causes otitis media? Streptococcus pneumoniae, Haemophilus influenzae, and Moraxilla cataralis. The same triad that causes otitis media can also lead to sinusitis. Acute otitis media was discussed in the last video. Please don't forget that signs and symptoms of acute otitis media will happen if the ear is infected. But in today's topic, which is otitis media with effusion, the ear is not infected. We do not see signs and symptoms of acute inflammation in cases of otitis media with effusion. Now let's review acute otitis media, more common in the young, and we said why, because the auditory tube is shorter, straighter, and more horizontal. Causative organisms are here, history of recent upper respiratory tract infection, ear pain, ear effusions that are purulent is acute otitis media. The membrana tympanicum is inflamed, bulging, retracted, with decreased mobility on pneumatic insufflation or pneumatic insufflation otoscopy. The effusions are purulent. There is tenderness and we lose the clear reflective cone of light due to the bulging of the tympanic membrane. You diagnose it clinically using otoscopy. Anytime there is effusion, you can send it to the lab for stain and culture to show you these doofus organisms. Management. Most patients will respond to amoxicillin. If it does not work, try amoxicillin clavidinic acid. Repeated attacks of otitis media for a long period of time, nothing seems to help, can benefit from meringotomy, which is an incision into the eardrum, and you can add tympanostomy tube to drain the effusions. Complications include spread of infections, tympanic membrane rupture, hearing loss, or chronicity. Now on to today's topic, otitis media with effusion, aka serous otitis media, also known as glue ear. The fluid or the effusion does not have to be serous, it could be mucinous as well. So what's the definition of otitis media with effusion? Fluid effusion in the media, middle ear, without signs and symptoms of infection. The otitis media with effusion could be acute, we see this in adults, or chronic, we see this in children. Chronic here means more than three months. And since there are no signs or symptoms of infection, there is no redness, hotness, swelling, pain, loss of function in most cases. Causes are similar, but don't forget, we have barotrauma here from flying or diving, leading to a sudden change in atmospheric pressure. And what I want you to remember is eustachian tube dysfunction. Anything that causes dysfunction of the eustachian tube can eventually cause otitis media with effusion. Patient describes the problem as a sense of fullness or a sense of pressure in the ear, usually painless because it's not infected. The effusion is not purulent because it's not infected. The effusion could be serous, could be mucinous, but not purulent. How can I make the diagnosis? Clinically, otoscopy to see the air fluid levels behind the tympanic membrane, i.e. in the middle ear, not the external ear. Pneumatic insufflation otoscopy will show you impaired tympanic membrane mobility because of the effusion, of course. 
Conductive hearing laws could be depicted on audiometry. And before audiometry, of course, you can do your Weber test, Rene test, and Schwabach's test with your lovely tuning forks. Management is similar to acute otitis media. However, we are not giving antibiotics here because it's not infected. Meringotomy and tympanostomy tubes can help. Don't forget, a child who cannot hear cannot talk. So make sure to see if the child has speech impairment or not. If there is, please refer to speech pathologist and try to treat this condition as early as possible. In acute otitis media, there is bulging of the tympanic membrane and absence of the normal natural cone of light. In otitis media with effusion, we see um, effusions. That's why there is air fluid level behind the tympanic membrane. The cone of light could or could not be there. If you want to learn about amoxicillin, amoxicillin, clavulanic acid, clindamycin, azithromycin, and other antibacterials, antivirals, antifungals, and antiparasitic medications, download my antibiotic course at medicosisperfectionalis.com. For more diseases of ENT and ophthalmology, download my surgery high yield course. And for things that can make me end up in the emergency room, you can learn about them by downloading the emergency medicine high yield course. It reviews topics like arrhythmias, toxidromes, drowning, and acute respiratory distress syndrome. My brand new course is about OBGYN high yields, including topics such as twin-twin transfusion, where the rich is getting richer while the poor is getting poorer. Who knew that Karl Marx was a gynecologist? Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and click on the join button. You can support me here or here. Go to my website to download my courses. Be safe, stay happy, study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis, where medicine makes perfect sense.